I'm Calvin Zito. In this snippet from our latest Data Unleashed episode, I talked with Simon Watkins, who manages the product marketing team in HPE Storage, about the new HPE Electra Storage MP X10000. So enjoy the snippet, and at the end of the video, I'll give you a link where you can watch the entire webcast. Let's jump into this. So you're in Barcelona. You know, we always have big moments uh, when we're at an HPE Discover event, usually announcing something new. So let's start with that, Simon. Let's talk with a summary of what HPE is announcing at uh, Discover in Barcelona. Yeah, so, so today's a, a big day, Calvin, for, for our storage business. We've announced two brand new uh, storage offerings, um, both of which really are advancing our strategy for simplifying data management with one storage platform and one cloud experience for every workload. So firstly, we've announced a new HPE developed fast object service, which we're calling HPE Electro Storage MP X10000. This solution, Calvin's built on the disaggregated scale out Letter MP architecture uh, and it's managed via the GreenLake Cloud. And it bring, basically brings high performance object storage, exabyte scale, and simplified management to modern data intensive workloads. And secondly, we've announced a new Electro MP block solution that enables customers to enjoy the GreenLake Cloud management experience, but in regulated, disconnected environment. So with this solution, customers can benefit from cloud simplicity and economics uh, while meeting those resiliency, um, security, and performance demands of their on-prem mission critical workloads. So a new platform, uh, you know, this is obviously a pretty big deal. Uh, you know, it's not very often that we launch a new platform into the market. So let's maybe talk a little bit more about HPE Electro Storage MPX. 10,000, man, that's a mouthful. Can we just call it X10,000? Yeah, definitely, let's call it X10,000. All right, let's do that. So why now, why are we doing this? And what, uh, you know, you kind of gave a summary of what it is, but what what are the kind of the benefits that customers looking at this would expect? Yeah, so, so I think when you think about, when you think about it, Calvin, the role of data storage, particularly unstructured data storage, uh, is really is really kind of fundamentally transformed over recent years. So it's no longer, a kind of a static repository for data. It's become a real enabler of business value. But you know, while um, while data-driven modernization is a top priority for all of our customers, really achieving that means confronting a number of storage challenges that, that really slow our customers down. And these are primarily a lack of performance, number one, scalability limitations, number two, and management complexity. And this is really where the X10,000 comes in. So if we, if we kind of break those three challenges down, from a performance perspective, what customers really need, Calvin, is a system that provides linear, high performance for their most data-intensive workloads. And we're not talking here about momentary peaks in performance, we're talking about sustained performance, you know, even at petabyte scale and beyond. So with the X10,000, you get fast, sustained and predictable all NVMe performance with no front-end caching or data movement between media. In addition, the X10,000 leverages a log-structured key value store, which really optimizes the use of flash media for superior performance. And the net result of all that, Calvin, is that the X10,000 can deliver considerably faster performance versus competitive object storage vendors. Now, the second challenge is around scale. And obviously in this kind of AI era, you know, where unstructured data is exploding, you really need a highly scalable petabyte or exabyte scale storage system for your most demanding workloads. And it needs to be flexible and adaptable. So with the X10,000, this is built on the Electra MP platform. So you get a modern disaggregated architecture that lets you scale performance and capacity independently. And this enables more flexibility, efficiency, and lower costs for your evolving workloads. So you can start small, Kevin, with a, with a, a three-node system and then scale out to multi-node configurations or that disruption. And you can maximize efficiency and cost savings with single uh, controller node performance scaling. And all of the SSDs are shared by all of the controllers across a high-speed switch fabric. So you have no silos, as well as the ability to tolerate multiple node failures. And the final piece of this is around the management simplicity. So the X10,000 simplifies management with the speed and agility of a cloud experience right across the life cycle from deployment 
to provisioning to upgrades. And what this does, Calvin, is really it makes that kind of underlying storage infrastructure invisible while making operations more app as opposed to um, infrastructure central. So unlike traditional storage management common to legacy solutions, with the X10,000, you can now deploy new apps and services just as you would in the public cloud, quickly and easily, but now on premises as well. Here's that clickable link where you can watch the entire webcast where we dove a lot deeper into the new X10,000. Here's a link to my Chalk Talk where you can also get a little bit more information about it. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.